Mahalo for tuning in to Island Focus and joining me in meeting Dr. Sarah Park, who is our state epidemiologist. Thank you for taking the time to be with us, Sarah. Thanks for having me. You know, as we're moving through this COVID-19 experience, as a pediatrician, as an expert in epidemics, as a mom, can you help us uh, navigate a little bit more what our concerns are and what should we be paying attention to? Yeah, so th it, this is a, a pandemic that where basically I think there are a lot of people that are afraid of something that you can't see. And it's really about how do we get from before to somewhere in the future where we can get back together again. And we've been through there, and the first SARS, even 9-11. And I think that's, that's what we're heading into. You know, people have heard us talk about the new normal and various things. What it really means is that life is going to change, that it, but it doesn't mean that we can't go back to at least some, you know, I think it's important. We're humans. We need to have connection. Um, it's important. It's important for our children to be able to see that we have that connection, you know, and to grow up in that. Um, you know, I, I've often talked about the fact that, you know, masks on little children are, are detrimental actually to their development. They need to see our faces as social cues and they need to see each other and to be able to know it's okay to hug people. And so that's where we're working towards and, and really our families, our friends, and, you know, our, the different sectors of our community, really having to think about how to get there. Yeah, I appreciate you putting this in perspective, that we've had situations before. It's just so much more dramatic, and the emotions are so high right now that I think what you've been saying over the years about common sense uh, really applies now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, people have asked, well, what is common sense? And everyone has a different common sense. <laughs> but I think it really is, you know, if, if people think about all of those things that I and others have always talked about, your mother has talked about, you know, wash your hands and uh, cover your cough and sneeze and, you know, staying home when you're sick, you know, and, and now added to that physical distancing and masking as appropriate. But wearing masks appropriately too, because, you know, I'm, I'm certainly not advocating, as a runner, I, I'm not advocating that you wear a mask while running, but, you know, when you're doing that physical activity, be mindful that you're not deliberately coming up, brushing against people and just like, you know, uh, mindful of that physical distancing as you're doing that physical activities. You know, these are all these safe practices that we're talking about as, as really common sense. And, and they sound simple, but I think now everyone is pausing and thinking about this even more. And I hope really internalizing it. And all of us are thinking about this is what we all can do to protect our community. And how do we incorporate this into our community and everything we do? And when you speak of community, uh, it's not just the people. You're speaking also of the professions. Right, right. And, um, you know, there is that sense of community around our friends and family, but it is the different sectors, uh, the industries, you know. So, you know, my husband is a structural engineer, and we've talked a lot about design of buildings as we move forward and thinking about how do you design for physical distancing. It, if you think about it, before this all happened, everything was pointing towards, you know, a carless society with, you know, buildings that put everyone together in close proximity and walking about. And and now I think a lot of the architects and designers are really thinking about this. I hope they are. And it's an example of how this dramatic event is affecting us. And we'll get through it. Well, there will be new things as a result. And technology, you know, has, has leaped forward in so many strides as a result of this. So there are benefits, there are advantages and, and such that I hope people see the silver lining out of all this. And I know it's hard because of the fear. And part of the anxiety too, is we just don't know right. what's next. Um, but it's kind of exciting, actually, if you think about it, if, if right. we just don't stay anchored in our fears. Right. Or in resistance to things that that were the way they were. Right. And change is always hard. I think no one, anyone who says they love change doesn't really understand then what change is because I think, you know, change is uprooting, you know, and changing and, and, and going towards something that is different and having to embrace it. And that's a hard thing for a lot of folks. And, but that's what we're going to have to do to get to that new place. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your time and for reassuring us that we will get through this. Thank you.
And thank you too for tuning in to Island Focus. You just had the opportunity to meet Dr. Sarah Park, who is the state epidemiologist. Aloha.